Yeah, as you can see, since Knuckles can't jump out of the water like Sonic could to get some air, or even jump over the boss anytime that you want to without having to spin out of that little half pipe, it changes the entire boss's difficulty around to a much higher difficulty. Well, not that much higher, because as you've seen, you just have to spin outside of it. But it works, and uh, if, if you know what you're doing, so to speak. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that was an extra life over there, but I'm not getting that. Jeez, no. <laughs> I'm gonna be squished if I don't make it! Yeah, I think I'm near the end here. Oh, here's something very cool. See this little, this little lip, this rounded lip off the bricks? That's where the wall stops. Woo! And now we're going into the main area, besides that place, uh, well, I guess the first area was kind of like a main area, because this is Act 2, after all. Act 2 started after the boss ended, so what am I talking about? But this is the main platforming area that you're not racing through, avoiding death around every corner. Or I shouldn't say every corner, just the thing that's coming behind you to squish you, and that critter always gets me on this loop. I ever, even if I spin, that critter gets me, I just don't know why. I hate that critter so much, and I guess we're going up here. Oh, I shouldn't have tried jumping over him, but it worked out pretty good, I guess. I, what am I saying? I guess for it did work out pretty good. I didn't take a hit at all, and there's some fans. You know, even if you fly into the fan blades accidentally, you know, if you run into them or something like that, the fan blades don't hurt you, which make absolutely no sense. Because those metal fan blades have to be spinning pretty dang quick to be able to get Knuckles up in the air. I mean, come on, even if he was a regular-sized Echidna, it would still need a lot of fan wind power to be able to blast the Echidna in the air. And I gotta say, that's a, a fan that you can definitely respect, but... A fan with metal blades sounds like it would cut you up pretty badly at, the, at those kinds of speeds. But they don't hurt you at all whatsoever. So, oh no, I didn't want to do that. And I have to hit the spring to get back up there, don't I? Poopers, scoopers. Well, I guess I'll be taking the middle route this time. Um, uh, well, that works for me. I guess I could just... Oh, shoot. What? what am I doing? I can climb walls. I forgot about that. I just realized that. Oh, here's a comp... I mean, here's a tricky one. So you can't grab onto that wall with Knuckles, so you absolutely have to grab onto these things. But, ow, uh, because of Knuckles' low jump height like that... What the heck killed me? What the... Did you see... Because Knuckles' low jump height, he gets hit by spikes on the way up, or he doesn't make it up to the top. But what the heck killed me? Okay, I'm back over here by the, uh, spikes of death, uh, yeah, uh, how the heck did those spikes hurt me? You're supposed to be able to walk on them without any trouble whatsoever, just like I did before, but somehow those spikes hurt me. As you've seen, they're not supposed to hurt me because I just walked on them, or at least on the sides of them, like, with no problem whatsoever. I, I, I don't get why I died there, and I just noticed I've only got one life. That's not good! I, I haven't really paid a Oh, never mind, I just got 100 rings. Well, that just kind of uh, helps me out there, and I didn't notice I even had that many rings on this little uh, run... Never mind about my rings. <laughs> on my run back. Um, another thing to note is that because of Knuckles' problem with these jumps here, uh, you can't, like... Oh, I guess you can do it like that. Um, I was going to say you can't uh, you, use the wall to get through the jumps. Uh, because there's spikes or parts of the wall that'll that you won't be able to grip onto, but I guess that works out just fine too if you don't want to use those little spinny, weird column things, whatever you want to call them. And underwater we go. And uh, wait, I'm gonna hit the shield. And I'm gonna pop right back up to up there because the game's physics. Ah, uh, I won't be able to make it up there, but at least I'll be able to breathe underwater. And by breathe, I mean I actually I'm in, I'm trapped within an air bubble. So technically, I'm not breathing underwater. I'm breathing in an air bubble. So, that's kind of like misinformation on my part, and I'm not going to be able to get up there. Oh, I accidentally glided. That's a that's a problem with uh, Knuckles, too, is that... Well, it's not so much a problem as it is you have to get used to it. Is that uh, if you press the jump button in midair, as I said, that you... Uh, uh, oh, this is the place where Knuckles would normally drop you in the water for Sonic or Tails. Um, if you accidentally hit the jump button on your way down to the ground, you'll make yourself uh, glide and slide, which is actually kind of inconvenient sometimes because of the fact 
that you, you aren't expecting it, and sometimes you slide into uh, off a cliff, or onto some spikes, or into an enemy, whatever, that you can't touch normally. And isn't there a secret? No, there's not a secret there. Why was I thinking there was a secret there? But I can just glide across that wall there. As you can see, this route is a lot different than uh, Sonic and Tails. Whoa, I was supposed to go all the way up on top of that wall, wasn't I? Yep. I was supposed to climb the wall and then do... Ow! See, I accidentally pressed the jump button as I was going down, and I glided into... INTO SPIKES! Ah! Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do this properly here. That thing right there, that's the long spike thing. As you can see, there's a lot of rings up here, and you're supposed to just go like this all the way to the other side. No problem whatsoever, and I'm almost got squished there. That would have been tasty, wouldn't that? Yeah, you would have loved if I really got squished after it takes me like a minute to get back over here. And oh shoot. It's actually harder to get down on these things than it is getting up, which is pretty weird, actually. Um, another thing I should probably mention to you in this walkthrough is that I, I think I'm gonna do the bonus stages this time around, uh, unlike what I did with um, my first walk through this, because that way um, I actually can be able to um, oh, uh, to do a hundred percent run on this game, so to speak. Uh, and then I won't be able to hear uh, from people that oh man, you should have did the extra stages. And I, where the heck am I? Wow. <laughs> That was very weird. I'd never flew up that high before, and I, I never really took a hit like that from those bombs before. Well, I shouldn't say I, I don't usually take a hit from those bombs before. I should say like that. Uh, as you can see, the difference between this boss and the original boss is that um, you... Uh, I almost got a whole load of hits in there. Oh, I almost took a hit there unless I would have glided there. That was good reaction time on my part. Um... As you see, you don't normally take a hit from those bombs unless you go into the explosion itself. What the heck hit me? What is hitting me in this walkthrough? That, nothing should have hit me there. <sighs> I'll be back in here in like 10 minutes. Alright, let's try Captain Glitchy Boss again for some reason. I just keep getting killed by glitches today. I, I swear I did not get hit by that propeller. Oh, by the way, it didn't take me nearly as long as I thought it would be to uh, get back over here. As you see, it only took me four minutes for the first act, and uh, it took me six minutes for the second one. But uh, that's no problem. I, I mean, six minutes total. Two minutes for the first one, four minutes for the second one. Excuse me. Okay, so now we're at the bomb portion here. Let's time ourselves right this time. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay, we're good. We got a ring. Or say I got a ring. Oh, okay, okay. And I got a lot of hits on that first round, and I almost got two hits off just from that uh, little vortex thing that he makes. And upsy daisy. What? Ah, oh, what a rip off. You gonna? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yay! I am a happy little echidna. And up ahead we go. I said we again. Dang it. 